Today, we're going to talk about how we get power from the utility to the service entrance. Electricity is carried from the utility generating station to a pole transformer located outside. The power is transmitted over high voltage, low current lines. And over here is the generator. The voltage leaving the power station is stepped up by huge power transformers located in a utility switchyard and it's carried over high tension lines at voltages of 25,000 and up. And over here is the substation. With the substation, the power is stepped down at the utility substation for transmission and distribution within a community. And this is the transformer. So in a typical neighborhood, a 2200 volt power line connected to a pole transformer will distribute electricity to the individual homes. And here's the power line. The wires carrying electricity from the pole transformer bring the 120-240 volt service to a residence and are connected at the service entrance right here. So to continue this a little further, I'm going to switch screens right here. And we're going to talk about the service entrance panel, or the meter. So electricity is brought from the pole transformer, like we just discussed. It goes to a service entrance head, or it, another name for it is called the weather head. It's installed on the side of the house near the roof line. And you'll have a galvanized rigid or intermediate conduit, and it's referred to as the service mast. And it carries conductors from the service head to the meter socket right over here. And that holds the utility's watt per hour meter. Okay, so this image represents the underground service, which many homes will have. And in an underground service, the cable will be either directly buried in the ground, or the wires will be installed in some form of conduit. And again, the wires then are attached to the service entrance panel at the meter. And one more quick note about the service entrance. Getting the power to the meter is the utility's responsibility and the distribution of electricity to the rest of the residents is the responsibility of the electrical contractor.